So we are continuing our work on the elementary principles of chemical processes um, book. Um, doing the next problem here, problem 2.2. Um, very similar to episode one, so I won't explain as much in this one, um, but uh, I'll point out a couple new things as we come along. But if you're feeling like a little lost, you can go back to um, episode one. Great, so I'll go ahead and just get started here. This is a units um, conversion problem, so we start off with 700... 60 miles miles per hour and we're going to um, a certain number of meters per second okay so in order to do this conversion I have 760 miles per hour and uh, we need to know how many meters are in one mile um, so I just googled that really quick, and there are 1,609 and 34 meters per mile. And there are um, 3,600 to work here 600 seconds per hour so then we have our hours cancel here our miles cancel here we're left with meters per second and that's what we wanted so we multiply all the numerators we divide by dot by all the denominators and we use our calculator to do that and then we get 300 9.7496 then we need to look at how many significant digits we have so sig fig equals okay so this this is a unique um situation where it's either two or three significant figures you can see in this initial number that they give to us it's ambiguous as to whether there's um, two significant figures or three. Um, if they wrote this in scientific notation, we would know for sure how many significant figures there are. But because they wrote it in standard notation, um, the zero may or may not be a significant figure. So um, I'll go ahead and write it as though it has three significant figures. Um, so then we'll write it in scientific notation. So 3.4. Four zero times 10 to the 2 meters per second. So that is the answer to part A. All right. Now moving on to part um, B. I'll change this up here and turn that into a B. All right. Part B, we have 921 kilograms per meter cubed. So a density conversion. We're going from metric to uh, whatever the United States uses. Uh, I use these units, but I can't remember what they're called. I don't like using these units, but <laughs> we can do it. Okay, so... Um, we start off with these units of density, SI units of density, and then we go to, um, let's do the mass first. So we're going from kilograms to pounds mass. So there are 2.20469 2 I got this conversion from the front of the book pen is not working here um, and so there are some that you can get just by googling there are some you can get just by looking in the front of your book whoops that turned into a down arrow let's undo that kilograms 
you need to make sure the kilograms cancel, so then we'll be left with pounds mass. We, now we need to convert the meters. Okay, so meters cubed. So there is one meter, we'll cube that. And in one meter, there are 3.2808 feet. And we'll cube that. Okay, then we get out our calculators and this equals 57.498 pounds mass per feet cubed, feet cubed, that looks like an E, feet cubed, whoa, <laughs> let's do that again. Um, pounds, mass, feet, cubed. There we go. And then we look at significant figures. There are not ambiguous number of significant figures. Three significant figures here. Okay. So, and we say 57.498. Five pounds mass feet cubed. That is the answer to part B. All right, let's move on to part C. And delete that. Part C. See? There we go. Okay, this one we have uh, power, units of power. So um, we're going from um, three, there we go, kilojoules per minute to horsepower, kind of a cool unit there. Don't really see that one a lot, but fun to say and imagine, I guess. Um, I think cars maybe still use it. Um, 5.37 times 10 to the 3. Put kilojoules in the numerator. Minutes in the denominator. Let's change our energy units first. I think I used the front of the book for this one as well. Um... So, but the front of the book didn't have kilojoules to horsepower, they just had joules. So first we'll go from kilojoules to joules. And then we will go from uh, joules to horsepower. So horsepower is units of uh, energy. So... Uh, joules, I should say, is units of energy. Um, horsepower is units of power, so energy per time. So um, in the front of the book, I think there's a conversion for one joule per second. So let's do one joule per second is equal to 1.3415 one times 10 to the minus three horsepower. So horsepower divided by one joule per second, these are equal to each other, so they're equal to one. So then our joules cancel out. Now we have a problem here with our minutes and our seconds. We need to get our minutes and our seconds to cancel out. So. Let's continue down here on the underneath here and say um, how many seconds. There are 60 seconds in one minute. Okay. Um, then our minutes will cancel and our seconds will cancel and our kilojoules will cancel and we're just left with the horsepower. Okay. 
So this, we get on our calculators, multiply by everything in the numerator, divide by everything in the de denominator. So make sure you're dividing by that 60 seconds right there. 60 seconds, you divide by 60 seconds, multiply by everything up here, divide by everything in the denominator. Everything's one except that 60, so pay attention to that. Then uh, that equals 120.0195 and so on horsepower however this is great this is in scientific notation you can see how this is not ambiguous even if there are trailing zeros and see if i wrote this as if they had written this in originally as 3.5700 we would say oh there are five significant figures because they added these zeros here however uh they just had um the three significant figures there five three and seven so in that case it is not ambiguous and uh we will only keep three significant figures so 120 let's write ours in scientific notation so that we know that that trailing zero at the end is a significant figure to the second power horsepower and that is our final answer. And that's it for problem 2.2. So thank you for watching the video, and I hope this helped. Um, if there are any corrections that you found or errors that I made in my calculator, um, just let me know, and I'll put corrections in the video description. Thanks.